Other than a fantastic win, and that makes it two away wins in a week. Huge win, huge win considering the opposition and what these lads have done this week. When you look at the travel to Telford, get back at three o'clock in the morning. Some of them, I'm led to believe, never got back or half past four due to road closures. And then we've turned up here, travelled on the day, and they've been outstanding. First 20 minutes, you could see they were a little bit rusty, a little leggy. Kitty probably could have nicked a couple, but I think that was the starting point, make sure the start right against us, but Tommy's done his job. And then we grew into the game, and disappointing not to be a, probably more goals ahead, to be honest with you, because I thought we were a better team as the game went on. In the second half, I thought we were quite dominant until we scored the second goal. Mm. We scored the second goal, and then it was like a, that backward step that we seemed to take, and it made us change the formation in the last 10 minutes into what we, to see the game through into a 5 4 1, which is not what we want to do because we've got, we haven't got. We're better when we're on the front foot in attacking teams, and we're playing in their half. We're much better at that. But I've got to give the lads credit. They, they work the socks every single one the, the, on the knees in there, and that's all you can ask. Becky scored twice. He was due a couple of goals, wasn't he? <laughs> but didn't he take them well? Great goals, as I say. Great little bit interchange on there, and he's, he's bent it. He's, we know he's got that quality in him, but I love the second one. I really did. The, picking the second balls up and the ball into Kane. And then the first touch from Kim was superb. It takes a defender out of the game, and he would be none of them to try and fire balls across. And when you've got two strikers in there, one of them's got to get on the end of it, and he's done that the day. So I say they must goals you dream of as a striker when balls are coming across like that. And as I say every single player in there has worked their socks off today. For these last two games, have been phenomenal, and you, you can't ask anything more than I'm so proud of them. And they showed the character as well in the last ten minutes, plus all that stoppage time when Kidderminster <laughs> threw everybody forward, even their keeper came up for a couple of corners, didn't he? And uh, you had to put the subs on just to just to keep us tight. Just trying to slow the game down and then yeah. see the game through. Like Jake Lola was, he's not fit. I just had to <laughs> yeah. see Jake, can you get, just go and do your job for us for five, ten minutes and head the ball and clear the ball. That's all he was there for and we needed him. And he, he's, I thought every single one of them put the body on the line. Yeah. You know, there's ricochets flying about all over the place, but. I would have been absolutely gutted if I hadn't come away with a win because we deserved the win. It, I thought we were the better team, simple as that, but it's about time we got that little bit of luck that come away that hadn't been coming from the last couple of games. Talking about somebody who needs a little bit of luck, Jacob Hazel. He's, <laughs> what a he's, performance. He's been trying ever so hard. He, he could have scored six at Telford, he's, he could have scored a hat trick today. But at the moment, the goalkeeper is proven more than his equal. He is, and he's. I've watched him and his work ethic is phenomenal today. What a team player. I'm watching him, he's running channels, he's holding the ball up. He's, he's back to his best now, he is. And he, we've had a little bit of a tough time. He's had personal issues to deal with that he's dealt with. And I think it's reflecting his performance and his, the way he went about. But he's back to himself now, back to his chirpy self in the dressing room. And it's great to see him winding up the opposition up. Like, that's what he's got in and that's what he does really well. And I just wish the lad had got a goal because he, he deserves a couple of goals for his last two performances, that's a certainty. But he's not bothered who's getting the goals, he's saying it as long as we're winning, he ain't bothered. Yeah. And Jack Lambert could have scored as well, he, he nearly smashed the crossbar in that first half. Unbelievable strike, great, but Jack's in a really good place again. We're, this is what happens when these players, unfortunately, they do have little lulls where you've got to try and manage them through that. And We've done that with Jack now and he's come back and he's absolutely flying again. The day. Then we're doubling up and we're tripling up on him and everything and he's still coming out with it. And, Got to do, he probably could have got one in the second half as well, but the first half, the one that he's hit, I think that would have probably nicked goal of the season for me if that had gone in, but no, the kid's in a good place when we're getting him in the right areas, and what I liked about him today is he's doing the simple stuff in the right areas, and then doing his magic in the right areas, and that's what we've got to keep Jack doing. Up to second in the table, two great away wins, our first win here by the way in 11 years, <laughs> it's uh, great performance but we mustn't put them to waste now we've got two home games coming up haven't we yeah. totally different game that's coming up here we've had two great away wins we, we've never normally got anything like you said and we've done that and now we've got to follow it up with the home games we've got Alfred in which we know what that's going to be Billy's going to have his team set up really hard to beat and really physical and we've got to match at and I think we're doing that really well at this moment in time and then obviously you've got the file on the, the side there after that which that's going to be a totally different game altogether from the Tuesday game where they play a lot of really good football with some really top players in the team too that we know pretty well. So we're going to be 
focusing on them but one thing I've got to do is look after these lads because we need to make sure we're, we're down to the bare bones you've seen it we're down to the bare bones and a couple of injuries it kills me but if we can get big wheats anywhere near for next week I'll be delighted but I'm not so sure Griff's still a while away unfortunately but it, it's just these lads uh, I've never had a group as, as strong as this to be honest and I think mentally and physically looking at them they're playing for each other massively there's a great camaraderie in there Every team will have a blip, or might, we'll probably have another one, mm. but it's how you deal with it and how you move on from it as a group, as a club and everyone together. And we've done a little blip. This is a fantastic result, we've got to build on it. And it'll be so disappointing if we don't build on it on Tuesday. And that's what I've said to the lads. The next game's the most important. This is gone. Next game is the most important one, so we've got to get that job done on Tuesday. I spoke to Tommy Taylor and he was saying he thought the character of the lads was much more stronger than what he was last season. And last season, he, he was Massively. saying, and I agree with him, that we could have easily conceded a late goal and finished with a 2 toed draw, just like we did at Chester. Can you remember? 100% really. Like, and that's, that's what we've got. Yeah, we've got leaders, and I think, Joe, like I said, I've touched on Joe a couple of times, that mentality. Even young Jass, he's, he's at never say die, he keeps going, he never stops. And the lads in there, Becky, obviously, I don't know what you can say about Becky in both boxes, being superb today. And when he has his experience in there, he's doing really well, and we have got a really good group. I've looked at the stats from last year regarding this year where we are and probably people would be surprised that there's not a lot of difference. There's not a lot of difference in the possession of the ball, the chances created. It's just that we're taking more chances and we're keeping the ball out the net at the other end. So that's a big difference for us as the main ones and that's what, that's what I try to do in the summer and at this moment in time it's proved costly. So long may it continue, eh? It's it is, it, as I say, we've got to continue this. It's a great position that we're in, but like I said, there's going to be ups and downs and we've got to do it. I think we've got to deal with it better as a group. When we do lose a game, deal better with it as a club <laughs> when we lose a game and move forward that way. But we're in a good position. I'm really pleased with what we've got in there. Of course, I would love to add to it to, <laughs> to help them lads have a little bit of a rest. But Sometimes when you've got a really close tight group that, that works wonders for you and at this moment in time it's, it's proven dividends.